Welcome back to my channel, Matin Language, and we're going to tackle stoichiometry, excess reactant, and leftover. So, hindi pa na kapag subscribe sa channel ko, subscribe na rin kayo para updated kayo sa lahat ng math and language ko na lessons, as well as the physics and chemistry. So, para malaman natin yung excess reactant and leftover, dapat alam na natin paano mag-balance ng chemical equation, malaman yung molar masses ng each element sa compound, yung mole-to-mole -mole ratio, mass to mass ratio at paano mahanap yung limiting reactant. So lahat naman ng links ng lesson ay nasa description box. So ano ba yung mga formulas na gagamitin natin? So ipapakita ko ulit yung limiting reactant formula so, that is given grams A over na quantity grams per mole times the coefficient A. Greater than or less than given grams B over mo ng quantity grams per mole times mo ng coefficient B. Yung lesser value, in yung magiging limiting reactant. So, paano naman sa excess reactant formula? Okay, so pag nahanap mo na yung limiting reactant, gagamitin natin yun para mahanap yung excess reactant consume at yung excess leftover. So, for excess reactant consume, that is limiting reactant, the times mo sa coefficient ng excess times mo sa grams per mole. At yung excess leftover naman, that is given grams of excess minus mo ng excess reactant consume. Take note, the chemical equation should be balanced first before computing the ratio. Kailangan balance mo na siya. Kung hindi siya balance, magiging mali lang din yung sagot natin. Pangalawa, if there are no coefficients, then understood that there is only one. So kung isa compound mo or din sa element, pag walang coefficient, understood no one yun. And pangatlo, the limiting reactant should be solved first. Pag mo makuha yung excess reactant, dadan ka muna sa limiting reactant. At syempre, da dapat mabalansin muna. Alright, so examples and solutions. Number 1, 14 grams of sodium reacted with 20 grams of oxygen. What is the limiting reactant? And how much excess reactant is left over? So tinatanong dito yung limiting reactant, pati daw yung left over. We have the chemical equation sodium plus oxygen is equal to sodium oxide. So, may hindi naman natin na hindi pa siya balance, so we need to balance the equation. So, that will be 4Na plus 1O2 is equal to 2Na2O. So, kapag balance na siya, i-place na natin yung formula in finding the limiting reactant. So, nalagay ko na, at ngayon, i-substitute na natin siya. So, yung given grams A mo, that is 14. Yung GPM or grams per mole, that is 22.99. Na times mo sa coefficient niya, that is 4. At sa kabila naman, that will be given grams B. So that will be 20. Color code dead naman siya. So may hihita sa screen. GPM or grams per mole, that will be 32. And coefficient ng B or in coefficient ng oxygen, that is 1. So simplify it, that will be 0.1522. Tapos sa kabila is 0.6225. And we can see that sodium is the limiting reactant kasi mas mababa yung 0.1522. So, next one, i-erase ko muna. So, matitira na lang doon yung limiting reactant. Now, we're going to place the formula for the ERC or excess reactant consume and yung ELO or yung excess leftover. Yung formula natin, that will be limiting reactant times mo ng coefficient ng excess times mo ng grams per mole and yung ERC or the excess reactant consume. So, let's substitute limiting reactant ng ay nasa sodium. So, that is 0.1522. Times mo siya sa coefficient ng excess, o dun sa oxygen, that is 1. And the grams per mole ng excess, that will be 32. So, that will be around 4.8704 grams. So, yung sagot ng 4.8704 grams, yun yung excess reactant consume. So, hindi pa yun yung leftover. Para malaman natin yung excess leftover, Yung given grams ng excess, which is dun sa oxygen, that is 20 grams, minus natin siya sa 4.8704 grams, and the answer will be 15.1296 grams. So, in yung excess reactant na leftover. So, again, this a question now, 14 grams of sodium reacted with 20 grams of oxygen, what is the limiting reactant? How much is excess reactant is leftover? So, again, sodium is the limiting reactant. 15.1296, yun yung excess leftover. Example number 2. 
Given the chemical equation and the masses of reactants, 2 grams of ammonia and 5 grams of oxygen, determine the limiting reactant, the used mass of the excess, and the leftover. So may NH3 plus O2 equal daw sa NO plus H2O. So again, we need to balance the chemical equation. So that will be 4 NH3 or 4 ammonia plus manang 5 oxygen gas is equal to 4 nitric oxide plus mo ng 6 water or H2O. So dahil nabalansin na natin, you have to place the formula in finding the limiting reactant. And now we're going to substitute. Okay, substitute mo siya. Given grams A is 2. So 2, divide mo siya sa GPM or grams per mole ng A. That will be 17.03. So sa NH3, grams niya per mole is 17.03. Times mo siya sa coefficient, that will be 4. And greater than or less than sa given grams P. So, kabila naman tayo. Given grams P is 5. Grams per mole ng oxygen is 32. At ang coefficient niya is 5. So, let's simplify it. 2 divided by the quantity 17.03 times 4. And that will be equal to 0 0.02936. At ang sa kabila naman, that is 5 over na quantity 32 times 5. And the answer will be 0 0.03125. The lesser value again, that will be the limiting reactant. So the limiting reactant is NH3 or yung ammonia. So lagay ko lang din agad yung 0 0.02936 para lagay natin sa next equation. Para maanap yung ERC or yung excess reactant consume, substitute na natin yung values. So 0 0.02936, ta times mo sa 5, yung coefficient ng excess. Ta times mo siya sa grams per mole ng oxygen, kasi yung excess, di ba? And the answer will be 4.6976 grams. Yung 4.6976 grams, ay yung excess reactant consume. Kasi yun yung mass ng excess. Hindi siya leftover. Okay? Kasi hindi pa natin na minus eh. Para maanap natin yung leftover, ang given grams ng excess is 5 grams. So, minus mo siya sa 4.6976 and the answer will be 0.3024 grams. So, dun sa tanong na given the chemical equation the masses of reactants, 2 grams of ammonia and 5 grams of oxygen, determine the limiting reactant, the used mass of the excess and the leftover, ang NH3 in yung limiting reactant. 4.6976, ito yung excess, react, excess reactant mass at yung leftover ng excess ay 0.3024 grams. So example number 3, 50 grams of aluminum sulfide reacts with 30 grams of sodium hydroxide. Determine the limiting reactant, the mass of the excess reactant, and the leftover. So we have a chemical equation of Al2SO3-3 or aluminum sulfide to plus madaw ng NaOH or sodium hydroxide is equal to sodium sulfide Na2SO3 plus mo ng aluminum hydroxide. So we need to balance the equation. So that will be 1 aluminum sulfide plus 6 sodium hydroxide is equal to 3 sodium sulfide plus 1 ng 2 aluminum hydroxide. Let's find the limiting reactant. So nalagay ko yung formula. And next we have to substitute. So that will be given grams A that's 50 over mo ng grams per mole. That will be 294.15. The times po siya sa coefficient noon, that will be 1. And sa kabila naman, given grams B, that is 30 over ng grams per mole ng sodium hydroxide, that is 40. So times mo siya sa coefficient noon, that is 6. So that is 30 over quantity 40 times 6. And we have to simplify it. So that will be 50 divided by the quantity 294.15. And that is equal to 0.17. Sa kabila man naman, 30 divide mo ng quantity 40 times 6 or 30 over 240, that will be 0.125. So, mas mataas yung 0.17. So, ang limiting reactant natin ay yung 0.125 or yung sodium hydroxide. So, lagi ko lang siya as a limiting reactant. Dito, burayin ko lang yung iba. At next, we have to find the ERC and ELO. Exact excess reactant consume and excess leftover. So, ERC is, is limiting reactant times manang coefficient ng excess times mo sa grams per mole ng excess. 
So we're going to multiply 0 0.085 times 1 and 1 times 1 and 2, 94.15. And that will be 25.0025 grams. And that will be the excess reactant consumed. Para mahanap natin yung excess leftover, yung given grams ng excess, o minus mo siya doon sa ERC. So given grams ng excess, that will be 50, ito yung given, minus mo siya doon sa 25 kanina. So 50 minus 25.00275, and the answer will be 24.99725 grams. Ito na yung excess leftover. So going back to the question, 50 grams of aluminum sulfite reacts with 30 grams of sodium hydroxide determine the limiting reactant, the mass of the excess reactant, and the leftover. So that will be sodium hydroxide, the limiting reactant. Yung excess reactant mass, that will be 25.00275 grams. At yung excess leftover natin, that will be 24.99725 grams. And that's the end of the lesson on how to find the excess reactant and leftover. Next video natin will be about theoretical yield. So theoretical yield is about percent yield is equal to actual yield. Divide one on theoretical yield times one on 100%. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or comment assignment kayo, physics, chemistry, science, or any math subjects or English, just comment down below. Okay, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.